Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Joanne and this is to Crochet Curious. Whew. Okay, so uh, today we are talking um, hashtag our elfin squares. This is a collaboration with 20 members, no actually 40 members, who are doing a crochet Christmas square swap. And the hashtags associated with this are hashtag our elfin squares, hashtag friends afghan, and hashtag crochet. And this is being coordinated by uh, Dana's Wanderlust Crochet. And uh, so I joined, and I there's two groups. One group is going to do a swap just in US addresses, and the other one's going to do a swap in Canada and the US, and that's the group I'm in. And I'm going to be sending two squares to 19 other people. And once we all finish swapping squares, we will have 40 squares, uh, two of which we made, and then the rest came from other people. And that will be enough to make a blanket, and we will do the border and, you know, putting them together in the border. Uh, so, um, let's see. So the yarn that I am using, oh, and all the details are available on Dana's channel. I have a link to it in my description box and also on my community uh, tab. Um, so I'm using Premier Basics DK because DK is the yarn we're size we're, or weight we're supposed to be using. So I have red, uh, white, and holly are my colors. Now, um, I showed this last week. I haven't put my ends in yet. So I've got this one. This is a wagon wheel motif. And then this one is a cluster cross, I think, um, motif. And then I just made this one myself. I like this one. And then this is a Swiss uh, cross, which I thought looked a lot like a package. This one was hard to do. Oh my gosh, you guys. Because the um, <clears throat> you carry the yarns through, and I can't tell you how many times I got to the next color and realized I didn't carry the yarn through. <laughs> I had to frog it back and pick up the yarn again. So... I think the best way to approach this is if, like if I was going to make these four squares, is to do 10 in a row of one, you know, so that I got it down and there's, you know, I think that's probably the way to go on this. Um, I think this was the most fun to make. Uh, this was challenging uh, because I was altering their, the design that was in the book. Uh, this one was pretty easy. And then this one was frustrating. So I don't know. We'll see what it looks like if I do one. Or maybe I should... No, I don't want to do more of those. <laughs> I'll do half in green and half in... Uh, red or maybe I'll do some red and green and some do one of each color combination and see how I like it. So um, anyway so I have four squares done. So four out of 40. Hey 10% there. So uh, next time it'll be uh, 36 starting number will be 36 and uh, we'll see how far I get in the next week. 
this is a little challenging and nerve-wracking because you know I have to consistently do this or else whip them out right away and get them all done um, and I'm probably thinking I'd be better at whipping them all out <laughs> right away than I would be at consistently doing anything because uh, I'm not great at that so I'm working on it I'm learning Okay, let's see. Um, what else we got going on here? <clears throat> now I did... I don't think it's out here though. Um, so I haven't heard... I mean, I know somebody did notice that they won, but I haven't seen their email yet. But as, as soon as I get the fourth uh, email... Um, I will be able to get everything out the door and in the next day or so um, and uh, I have selected um, June giveaways so those are piled up waiting for me to um, start launching those so we'll do that in the next I'll start them you know later this week there will be another giveaway and then we'll just probably run one a week or something okay and I said in my last video that I've already selected the 10 giveaways for my thousand subscriber party that we're gonna have whenever I hit a thousand subscribers and what else um, I'm getting organized trying to get things under control I've got to finish my big big basket so I think this week the big news is I will work on my big big basket and I will schedule live and what and work on elfin squares okay I think that's all I can handle this week <laughs> so the power was out this morning for a couple of hours or about an hour and a half I guess and uh, but it woke us up when the power went out at 4.30. And uh, I was like, uh-oh, am I even going to work today? But everything's back. It's fine. So uh, I got to go to work. But I wish you the very best day. And we'll talk to you and see you on the next video. Bye now.